So, we're almost ready to go to App Inventor. Okay, so we are going to be using this, this screen, okay? So, let's start with the first part that is here. This is a dummy, right? So, we will, uh, we're going to use a dummy in this case that it will be 35% of high. Just to remember. Yes, well guys, so let's start. 35% is the first one. Let's go to App Inventor. So first we are going to create a dummy. You can use a label or you can use, for example, an image, an empty, an empty image. So, and I say that is, uh, I'm not interested in the, the width, I'm just interested in the height that is 30, what? 35%, 35%, okay, and that's it, it will have it here. And then we go here uh, to the next part. So here we need an horizontal arrangement that it will have a dummy and a button, okay? And it has to be aligned to the left. So here the horizontal arrangement will be 33% height and field parent for width. So horizontal arrangement here, okay? Now we are going to do this. We are going to fill parent width with and that's it. And the high, remember, it will be 33%. Yes, the 33%. Here, percentage 33. And that's it. I'm worrying the screen sometimes if they don't look very accurate, but they will be. Okay, now uh, let's create the dummy. The dummy, we're going to use another empty, Im empty image. Okay, so now for this we have 28% of width. Ah, just make sure that this is aligned to the left. Yes, it is to the left. Okay, now here the height of the picture. Uh, the picture it doesn't matter. Okay, just we're interested in the percentage that is 28 for the width. 28 here, and that's it. Okay. Now we need to create now a button. The button it will be 60% of the width. Okay, this is my button, and this is let's call it triangle one. Triangle button one, yeah. And this is uh, for the width. I told you it is width 60%. It will. 60% of the width 60% okay and for time we can use the filter of this horizontal arrangement and we can change this to nothing and we can make it invisible so both so let's make them invisible so let's go here invisible yeah, and it is not important the rest of here. Okay, but it will be using the 60% of this. 60% is too much, but yes, it's more. Up. Well, let's go here. We need now to create another dummy, 14% of a hand. So let's create a dummy using an image here. Remember, it's 14% of the height. We are interested in a with 14% and that's it then we place here an horizontal arrangement for the dummy and for the final button horizontal arrangement here and the horizontal arrangement will be like the parent for width and for height it will be the 16% the 16% of the height 16% Cool. 16% that's it so you have here the horizontal arrangement that we will have a dummy ah, just make sure horizontal arrangement line left yes that's cool very cool so here the dummy and in the dummy we need a button next to it. so here the dummy is 14% width 14% And for the button, we have 
question of percent. So let's see, button mm -hmm, with 31. That's it. And we remove the text. Um, um, what else? Ah, yes, we rename it to triangle. 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 Button 2. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah, well, uh, the high, we will fill it in the horizontal arrangement. And we have everything. Now, we can see that this is working. We have two ways to do this. Okay, we can check it uh, by just placing the color here, but we are not going to do it because we know that this is working. So, what about if we draw uh, here a text to speech? Okay, so let's say that it's text to speech in English. Okay, language, English, speech, blah 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 blah. So, and let's go with some code here triangle button. Let's say that we when we click the triangle button, okay, <clears throat> we want the text to speech to say, Ooh, you coach button one. Touch button number one. Cool, you touch button number two. And this is for triangle two. You just copy and change, and that's it. Okay, so here we go to the designer and we're ready to try this. Okay, so let's build this. You know what? I was thinking before we. Uh, uh, build this app. Let's make something different. Okay. Well, let's try to make something just to check that is correct Okay, the way the buttons are because if we have invisible buttons, we are not going to see the invisible buttons Okay, so uh, this is just to help you. Okay to visualize this thing When shaking, I want this thing to happen. I want to set the triangle button color to uh, <clears throat> let's say to call a uh, color right color gray. Uh, let's say that to color. Gray. Both buttons to color gray when I shake the font just to see this thing. Okay. So well, we just have to remove these things. Okay. Remember, move, make them invisible. Here, background color none. And that's it. And then we can add something extra. Okay. That is the part of a. Uh, here, if you check at the bottom, we have something that's missing. Okay, maybe you can have maybe a dummy, but I don't know if I can place it because this is the problem here. Let's see if it works. Now. Well, let's just move this just a little bit. Then we use this one. Yes, that's it. Okay, and now for this one, I wanted to use this fill pen of the rest of the screen. Okay, and that's it. Well, this is finished. We are going to just uh, build it. Okay, remember screen to the top, call the same background color, portrait, a okay, fix. You can use fix, you can use responsive. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> That's it. Pretty much different. Oh, I was my title visible and visible. Right. So now we build it and we try it. Well, as you can see, here we have a 
the app okay I installed the app in my cell phone and, and my children's tablet okay so well this is in the cell phone the cell phone has for well, I don't know it is like 100 to 1280 uh, pixels uh, times 720 and the tablet oops well I shake it the tablet has different resolution okay but if you check it looks pretty nice and if you touch here oh, let me cool you touch button number one cool you touch button number two cool you touch button number one okay and if I shake it I see the buttons are placed in the correct place okay so with this cool. idea you, you, can, you can create interfaces that look very nice very attractive of course it's very complicated well not complicated okay sometimes you have to work a lot in uh, Inkscape for example and uh, to think about the layers so I have another one that I was making that it was a little bit more complicated uh, that it was uh, I guess it was this one and I have to put Again, this is a background image. Okay. You press up. You press left. You press right. Here it is a problematic idea because you, you have an horizontal arrangement. Well, but I, uh, you you can figure it out this thing. Okay. So that's the idea. Well, and now with the same app, cool design. I have invisible buttons, but they look very cool, right? And then you go here. To the other one that I pressed, sorry. Check. I have touch. Cool, you touch button number one. Cool, you touch button number two. And it's pretty accurate. Okay, so it is using this square. Here is not like having this. Cool, you touch button number one. It looks very nice. Cool, you touch button number two. Well, I hope you like this tutorial. Okay. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please uh, please let me know it. Okay. Thanks for watching. I see you next time. Cool. You touch button number one. Cool. You touch button number two.